to work for fair wages, talk about that. Well, at, at the end, you know, the, the labor movement has been in the forefront of a, a lot of causes across the country, and, and we're clear been a target of, of the win, of, of the rich, of the wealthy, of, of the Trump administration. And so this is just another attack on labor unions, another attack on the middle class. But we're so strong, we're so united in California, on the Central Coast, and across the United States. Labor unions are strong. And, and, and we're here to fight. This is a step back in in, in U.S. history, uh, but it was clearly an attack by the wealthy of the United States going after working class families. And this is something that you, I mean, you guys have been uh, rallying for, fighting for. I remember doing this. I think gosh, it was in February, just yes. months back. This has been talk about the continuation. Yeah, the, you know, this is not the first time the um, the wealthy have attacked the labor unions. You know, there was a case earlier in, in the previous Supreme Court session, and, and there wasn't, it was a split decision. And so we knew this was going to come out. And with the Trump administration being able to appoint a Supreme Court justice earlier in the year, it was, it was, the writing was on the wall. All the judgments that have come out in this court session have been five to four votes. The, the conservative justices against the liberal justices on a five to four votes. So we knew we were planning for the worst, hoping for the best, but the worst did happen. But we're so strong as a labor movement and, and we're going to continue fighting for, 
for labor members, for the middle class, for civil rights, for human rights, for all the all the fronts that we've been fighting for for years. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you want to do something Spanish really quick? Si. Okay. 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 Uh, mi nombre es César Lara, soy el director del Consejo Laboral. Uh, ahora lo que hizo la, la Corte Suprema es atacó a los, a los trabajadores de sindicatos. Esto otra vez es un ataque de los ricos contra los pobres. Y, y lo que hizo hoy uh, es no era bueno para, para trabajadores, pero aquí estamos como, como sindicatos, todavía andamos en la lucha para, para trabajar, uh, para ayudar a todos en nuestra comunidad, uh, en, no nomás aquí en la, en la Costa Central, pero en todo el país. Ese es un, un movimiento de trabajadores que, que vamos a luchar todavía. Lo que pasó hoy no era correcto, no era justo, pero aquí estamos todavía para pelear para lo que es correcto para, para el país, para aquí en esta
And on top of that, one of the Supreme Court justices said, by the way, after I stab you today, I'm going to retire yes. so you can replace a younger version of my righty, conservative self. Are we going to allow that to happen? No, we're going to fight back. Yeah. Yeah. So let's be clear. Today, what happened today is not a setback. We're just refreshing and we're getting ready for the fight. What happened today was not right. This is going to be a black day in U.S. history where we're going to regain it. Because we're not regaining it just for ourselves, we're regaining it for our children, we're gaining, regaining it for our families, and we regain it for everybody. So I, I want to thank everybody for coming up here. I'm going to ask a couple of speakers to come up here and say a couple of words. I think it's powerful. One of the most important things we do in the labor movement is endorse people. And the question is always, who are they? What do they do? Where are they when the times are tough? Some people are not here with working families. They go spend their time and hear what, what priorities happen by other people. But we have important people that have come here to be with us, to show their power. So I'm going to ask uh, Luis Alejo, our chair of the Board of Supervisors. This is a very important position. I'm going to ask him to say a couple words. Tony Barrera from the city of Salinas is here. Holding up this beautiful <laughs> I want to thank the UFW that's here. Yeah. Yeah. The speakers are here. chapter in U.S. history, one of the worst weeks of decisions that are coming out of the Supreme Court uh, against women's rights, against labor, and against a lot of other main issues that came before them this year. It's a sad chapter, a horrible precedent that was set by our highest court in our nation. But you know what? I'm glad that you all came out here, that we responded as a community, that we are not afraid, that we don't just, just take golpes, that we fight back, that we organize, that we mobilize, and that's important. It's important for us as elected officials to stand with you, to stand here with you today on this important moment. I just got back five minutes ago from Sacramento because we were fighting for an ethnic studies bill to get out of the state senate. And we got it out five to zero to have a multicultural curriculum in our schools, in every single high school. So 1.7 million high school students. Yeah. You have to understand where we come from to know where they're going to go in the future. It's important. But I want to tell you, there was a lot old quote by Robert Kennedy who said that where unions are strong, the cause of social justice is advanced. And where unions are weak, our whole society suffers. So today, I'd like to tell people, this is not the first time our communities have been through this. It's not the first time the labor movement has been through this. We've been here before. There's been a lot of sad chapters throughout American history for the civil rights movement, for the African American community, the Latino community, the API community, the LGBT community, and the labor movement. We've seen these chapters before. It's not new to us, but we're resilient. We're strong people, and we fight back, not only for ourselves, but for our future generations, for our young people, our children, to know that we're not intimidated, that we do fight back in these most critical of times. And I want to tell you, you know, people always say, the struggle never ends. It's ongoing. And every new generation has to keep fighting for our rights, for our dignity, and our respect for our communities. So that's what we, we want to stand with here today. I want to thank you for showing an example to our community that we're not going to take this. We're going to fight back, and I'm going to stand with you. Muchas gracias. I'm proud to be your county supervisor. Thank you. Got a union. What union was that? Is SEIU in the house? Yeah. 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 So I'm, before I ask Tony Barrera, our council member here in the city of Salinas, to say a couple words, I want to invite our uh, 
uh, Vice President for the Labor Council, Kelly Martinez, to say a couple words. All right, Kelly! Yeah. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm only going to just echo what Cesar and uh, Supervisor Lejo have mentioned. You know, we know, as was mentioned, that labor unions and um, ha it's not the first time we've been attacked. And we know that only collectively can we move forward and to only together can we rise. And we know that this attack is not going to stop us. It only makes us stronger. And, you know, we got each other and we got momentum. There's a lot of movement. We got folks that are running for politics, people are running for office, women, millennials, uh, and you know we're really creating a space. And this is not going to stop us. You know this is corporations that are attacking uh, the, the the middle class. And ultimately, it's not going to it's not going to work. Um, it's only making us stronger. And you know we're united, and together we can we can do this. And corporations know that unions are the only counterbalance against uh, against the rich and we have to move forward um, together we rise and that's that's the slogan and that's what we're going to do and together we're going to do it you know UFCW has got your back and Yay. together we'll do it Tony Barrera, can you say a couple words? You know, this, this thing means a lot to me here. Um, when I really needed the support of people, UFCW came and helped me out. And I told Pete Maturino, I told Dalla Garcia, UFCW, I says, you know what? I'm keeping this sign and wherever I go to support people, I'm gonna take it with me because now more than ever, we have to be united. This is serious. Whether you appreciate what happened or not, you know, it's the law. But I think today I am here to support the workers because you are the ones that make community out here and your families are here. And I stand with you, I really sincerely stand with you. And to all the unions here today, and I'm gonna say it as a public elected servant, because that's all I am. I'm a servant of the people. Whoever unions choose to endorse, from this day on, you need to make sure that they win, that your candidate wins, because that's the strength. Whether it's me, whether it's somebody else, it doesn't matter. Whoever the union, are you listening to what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that's the only way, as you say, the rich, as you say, the powerful, or whoever it is, that's the only way they're going to pay attention. It's when they see, you know what, I remember 20 years ago when I was in the Carpenters Union, they, they fired this one guy. N nobody really liked him, but they knew he was a hard worker. They got rid of him, and you know what, every department, there's 19 departments in that place where I was working, every department went out. Within 72 hours, that guy got his job back. <laughs> that's when they're going to be knocking at your door. That's why whether you're a carpenter, whether you're a plumber, whatever union you belong to, when there's a union out there advocating for something, we need to be there. Because everybody else is There's organized money and there's organized people. And organized money today kicked our butt in the Supreme Court because of what happened with elections and who became president. But organized people will always win. That's what we have to remember. And to be organized, we got to fight. So our brothers and sisters in Unite Here know how to fight. I want to ask the Secretary Treasurer to say a couple words here. <laughs> As 
Cesar said, my name is Hector Aspelcueta and I'm the Secretary and Treasurer for United Local 43. We represent 1,400 members in the Monterey in uh, Santa Cruz County. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to say and I want to start with is, we are union, we are proud, we are union, we are proud, we are union, we are proud. Brothers and sisters, the unions have been always the first line and the last line of defense when it comes to union rights, to workers' rights. We have fought for better wages. We have fought for our families' healthy, healthy benefits. We have fought for better wages, better working conditions. And today, the decision of the right-wing judges in the Supreme Court is not going to stop us from doing that. We will continue to fight. We will continue to organize. We are going to continue better wages. We are going to continue better benefits and a better life for our families. The right-wing Supreme Court justices today committed a crime, a crime about humans, because the, what it happened today, it might affect our uh, new generations, our families. But unions will continue to fight. We are going to continue to demand that we get the first share of the pie. We work hard, and we deserve better. So today is the beginning, a bigger fight, and we want you to be there with all of us. So we are union, we are proud. We are union, we are proud. We are union, we are proud. Thank you very much, brother. So to uh, close it out, we have a speaker from SAU that's going to say a couple words. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Hello, this is Susan for all the units that are here today. Uh, I'm so proud to be a union member, and I'm so glad that you guys came out here to support our brothers and sisters. Um, today is a big day, and uh, we all heard about it. Um, the Janus case, um, but actually, uh, this is a the beginning. We're going to continue fighting, and we're going to uh, send a clear message uh, to the rich people that we are here. We're not going anywhere. We're going to fight for ourselves. We're going to fight for our communities, and we're going to fight for the programs, the vital programs that our communities deserve. Thank you very much. <laughs> Organize, organize, 
En original, we ready to fight. de trabajo eh, con mejor seguridad, eh, respeto a los derechos, eh, representación laboral y cuando se toca el tema de los contratos, las negociaciones con el empleador, es muy importante para nosotros como, a, como trabajadores eh, municipales o del condado en, en respeto a las representaciones, es, eh, es algo mucho más importante eh, hacer parte de una un sindicato. Ah, pues estamos, eh, tenemos mucho eh, esperanza y estamos eh, en realidad pensando en un futuro y eso va a continuar. Eh, tenemos la esperanza de que vamos a seguir unidos como unión, vamos a seguir unidos como miembros de las uniones de los sindicatos para seguir, este, como te había comentado, este, peleando y abogando por los derechos de la comunidad y por los servicios que la comunidad necesita, eh, principalmente ahora en esos días. Thank you.